I'm here to introduce the Krakatoa. What was the inspiration? The ideal scenario for a sound source is infinitely small. Now, how do you get from the ideal to reality? You make it as compact as possible. You want the shortest distance between the source of the highs, the mids, and the lows, and the longest distance between the highs and the mids and the lows in this cabinet is just over two feet from the center to the port. So you're shorter than the wavelength of everything you're producing. And what happens is you get consistent off-axis performance in every direction. It's not affected by wind, like uh, multi-source arrays, like line arrays, or even multiple point sources. This can be used in a large auditorium to cover a very wide and deep space. If you fly it up high and you get full range from a single point source, which gives you incredible intelligibility, point sources with a single arrival to the ear is easier for the human brain to decipher the exact information so you can get better intelligibility. Great impact because of that coherent arrival. So when you're dealing with spoken word and transitioning to music in the same venue, you can use something like this to better effect than a line array system.